The community is outraged over the death of a Kalihi teenager who was found murdered one week ago. Tonight, a crowd of 200 honored Iris Rodriguez Kaikana in a silent march. KITV's Jody Leong joins us now with this story. Jody? Paula, the brutal murder of the McKinley High School graduate has upset the community so much, people are donating large amounts of money to create a reward fund to help find her killer. And they came together tonight to remember the girl who wanted to be a police officer. A sea of silent marchers circled the state capitol. They were led by Iris Rodriguez Kaikana's father, her family, and lawmakers. Mourners clutched homemade posters plastered with recent photos and loving messages. About a dozen police officers in uniform rounded out the huge crowd. Police believe the 18-year-old Rodriguez Kaikana was murdered last Sunday night or Monday morning. Police say Rodriguez Kaikana was lying face down in an alley next to the Kamehameha Housing Project across from Farrington High School. Rodriguez Kaikana's killer is still on the loose. This silent march aims to give the family members, friends, and people who never even knew her the chance to express their deep sorrow and to call for justice. Having this walk and um, in, in pursuit of justice is very important. Art Costa survived the murder of his daughter back in 1984. A news article drew him to the Rodriguez family. My hope now is that this person is apprehended and then the, the uh, grieving process can begin. The Rodriguez family says the grieving and healing have already begun thanks to the outpouring of support. Family and friends and all others that my daughter Iris Napua Nani Rodriguez Kaigana has touched in her years as an angel growing up. And if anything good can come of Rodriguez Kaikana's death, it will be this. All you teenagers, look at your mom and look at your dad and promise tonight that you can tell them that you love them. Now, Crime Stoppers is offering a $1,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest of a murder suspect in this case. But lawmakers and the community have also donated money to this fund. And late this afternoon, Dwayne Dog Chapman and his wife Beth added $10,000 to the reward fund. Reporting from the newsroom, Jody Leon, KITV4, Island Television News.